Chapter 10, Lesson 4, Surface Area of Triangular Prisms Example 1, find the surface area of the triangular prism. So we need to find the area of each individual shape. So if we start with this shape, we do 3 times 2, which gives us 6. And we know that this one is also going to be 6 because it has the same dimensions. And this one is also going to be 6 because it also has the same dimensions. Now we need to find the areas of each triangle. So we could start with the top triangle. To find the area of a triangle, we have to use the formula 1 half times the base times the height. So for the triangle on top, we do 1 half times, this is the base here, which has the measurement of 2 centimeters. So 1 half times the base, which is 2, times the height, which is 0 0.8. So 1 half times 2 is just equal to 1, and 1 times 0 0.8 is 0 0.8. So the area of this triangle is 0 0.8. And because this triangle has the same dimensions, the area of it is also 0 0.8. Now to find the surface area of the whole prism, we just have to add up all of the areas. So we have 6 three times, and then we have 0 0.8 two times. We have to line up our decimals. 8 plus 8 gives us 16. Then we have 6, 12, 18, 19.6. And because it's area, we have 19.6 centimeters squared. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example 2, find the surface area of the triangular prism. So let's start by finding the surface area of this outside triangle. So we have to do 1 half times the base, which is 5, times the height, which is 12. Because multiplication is commutative, I can switch these 1 half times 12 times 5, and 1 half times 12 gives us 6. 6 times 5 gives us 30. So this outside triangle is 30, and that's the same size as this back triangle, which is also 30. Next, we can find the area of this back rectangle, which is 12 by 3. 12 times 3 gives us an area of 36. 
then we can find this bottom rectangle, which is 5 by 3, because this is the same size as this. So 5 by 3 gives us an area of 15. And then the last piece we need to find the area of is this rectangle in the front, which has dimensions 13 inches by 3 inches, which is 39. Now to find the total surface area, we just add up all of the areas. So we have 30 plus 30 plus 15 for the bottom, 36 for the side, and 39 for the top rectangle. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 plus 5 more is 20. Then we have 3 plus 3 is 6. 9, 12, plus 2 more is 14, plus 1 more is 15. So our total surface area for the triangular prism is 150 inches squared. Try this one yourself to check for understanding. Example three, a local pizza shop makes a single pizza slice box for customers. Find the amount of cardboard used to make the box. So first we can find the area of this front triangle right here. And the formula for the area of a triangle is one half times the base. The base in this case is 10 times the height, which is 12. One half times 10 is five. 5 times 12 gives us 60. So because the front of the box and the back of the box are the same size triangles, we have 60 used two times to find the surface area of this box. Next we can find the surface area of the side rectangle. The dimensions of this rectangle are 13 by 2 inches because this is the same size as this. So 13 times 2 gives us 26. So the right side of the box also has the same dimensions, 13 by 2, so that side is also 26. The last piece of the box is the bottom, which has dimensions 10 by 2 which gives us 20. So to find the total surface area of the cardboard box, we have to add 60 twice for the triangle in the front and the back, 26 twice for the rectangles on the side, and 20 once for the rectangle on the bottom of the box. 6 plus 6 gives us 12. Then we have 6 plus 6 is 12, 14, 16, 18, plus one more is 19. The surface area of the box is 192 inches squared, so they needed 192 squared inches of the cardboard.